Hey everyone, I'm Brett Kinsella, I'm with Neftorian, and I'm here to invite you to NFT Artist Con. It's free, it's online, and it's gonna have practical advice for artists to get into Web3 or to level up their NFT game. There are so many conferences out there around NFTs right now, but none of them are really focused on the artists. So we wanted to do something that would give you insight into people who've already been successful in this space, people who are working in it every day and can really help the artists understand what to do next, not just what to create or what the hype is, but what they should do with their project. So just as importantly, we have amazing guests coming up and I really want to walk through just a couple of them with you. Maddie Mo, he's best known as the most famous artist, headline grabbing art. He knows a lot about marketing in this space. And he also has Open3, which is a new tool which helps artists mint out a collection, build an audience so that they can use and they can level up their NFT game. Uh, that's going to be pretty great. And this is going to be the first time that's going to be talked about publicly. Anne Spalter is going to be joining us. Anne's definitely a pioneer in this space. She created the first digital media program at the Rhode Island School of Design, the, maybe the top art school in the world, certainly one of the top five. And she did that a while ago, but now now she's just been in the nft world for the last year year and a half and she just launched the spaceships project which was really amazing it was a collaboration with night cafe minted out in 20 minutes she could talk about fine art in the space pablo stanley a longtime designer people know him from the community uh, he's the creator of robatos one of the most successful pfp or collectible projects out there but it's based on amazing art and amazing community so he'll be able to talk about those plus they just created Robopolis, which is a virtual world called call a metaverse for Robato's holders. Really interesting. And he's created Bueno, which is a software solution for artists to make it easier for them to roll out their NFT projects. It's as a longtime designer and software uh, in the software industry, it just made sense for him to do all these different things. All right, we have Colin Goldberg. He's the founder of Techpressionism. Uh, Friend of mine, an amazing artist. He's been doing digital art since the 1990s. And he's reinvented some of that art for the NFT world. And I think he's going to have particular insight for a lot of you who've done some work that might be NFT ready today. He's been minting on the 23rd of each month. He has an amazing uh, collection. We'll be talking about that. Uh, we also have Mitchell F. Chan. Mitchell, great guy. I've just gotten to know him recently. He actually minted his first NFT before there was a standard. There's this thing called the ERC-721 standard on Ethereum. That's what defines what, a, what an Ethereum-based NFT is. He actually created an NFT before that existed. And he went through the whole process of doing it. He's been really a thought leader in the space as well as an artist. And he's done a lot of things since then as well. So he's definitely had an interesting career and how that's been played out. And he has an interesting strategy that I think a lot of artists are not following. Turn Troy Kalik. He's an actor, writer, producer. It's Hollywood meets NFT. He's working in a couple of the really big projects. Gutter Cat Gang, if you're familiar with that. Also, Lost Hamsters, his new project. They're story-led projects. He's going to talk about the importance of storytelling in NFT world. It's important in all art. It's important in any type of media, but it's particularly important in NFTs. And he's got some great, some great insights to share with people. Artblocks is going to be here. One of the most successful NFT projects ever. It is for artists. Multiple artists are creating generative art on the Artblocks platform. It's certainly the most the most successful generative art uh, project so far. And it's really helped bring generative art into the mainstream. Well, we have Carolina Di Bartolo, Sarah Rossing. They're going to be here to talk about art blocks, how artists can work with them, give you a little bit about that story. And they have a lot of insights about everything from how to position it to pricing to what the evolution of the space looks like, particularly for fine artists, which I think is, is going to be really fascinating. And we want to have the collector's perspective Artix Code Sophia Garcia is here. She's probably the best known curator of generative art out there. And I just found out that Brian Fanzo, my friend and the founder of the NFT365 podcast, he's going to be joining us as well. He's collected over 1,000 NFTs. He's doing one every day for a year. Well, actually, but he's actually been doing more than a, every day and he's really tied into the collector community because so many of them follow him and his podcast so i'm really excited to bring all these things to you it's coming up on wednesday august 17th and it's going to be about four hours 
and guess what? We've got more than a dozen speakers, but right afterwards, we have an artist showcase as well, which we haven't even announced till just now. So there's going to be an artist showcase. There's going to be about a dozen artists there as well. And they're going to be showing some of their work. You're going to be able to talk to them. It's going to be just like a Zoom meeting. You'll be in the room with them. Maybe they'll show some art. You guys will be able to chat. But I hope you can join us for NFT Artist Con coming up just in a few days. And if you can't, uh, go to that link as well, and you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to see the uh, all the recordings afterwards. Everything's going to be recorded, so register if you want access to it even afterwards, even if you can't make it on Wednesday. NFT Artist Con. It's going to be the it's going to be the way that artists are going to level up their NFT game. I'm Brett Kinsella. This is Niftorian. I hope to see.